Hey Collective, now I didn't do a video last week and I apologize for that and I will be doing a punishment for that. Um, sadly I'll have to postpone that maybe to next Saturday. Now I hope you enjoyed Canada time, but a bit of me actually does want to tell you some Canadian history. But that would be the obvious thing to do. So, instead of telling you just Canadian history, I'm going to tell you how the Canadian government works. It's, no, no, this is not me trying to take sides on any certain political issue, but I always thought it was kind of funny, and I want to tell everyone in the crowd. I know this isn't just for people outside of Canada. A lot of Canadians don't actually know um, how the government works, and really, you don't have to know something to enjoy it. So, for viewers both international and domestic, this is Canada. Now, how it all started was laws were different from, different from province to province, and a man named John A. Macdonald didn't really like that. So, he, what he decided was that Canada had to really make its own country, had to break away from British rule in some sense. It was still under British rule, but it still had to, it had to form its own laws, and ones that would span throughout the country. So then Confederation came about, and a whole load of laws came with it. This is known as the Criminal Code of Canada, and is constantly being revised by a place called Parliament. I just moved a bit, but there are three levels to Parliament. There's the House of Commons, the Senate, and the Governor General. In the House of Commons, you'll find a multitude of parties. Uh, just to name a few, there's the Conservatives, the New Democrats, the Liberals, Green Party, and the Bloc Québécois. Those are, I believe, all of them that are currently occupying, along with maybe some independents. All these parties have a bunch of people, maybe. In fact, I believe the Green Party only has one chair. And they all vote on certain bills that come in, that try to become laws. So once a bill passes the House of Commons, it goes on to the Senate, which is basically like a miniature House of Commons, filled with more executives, if you might want to call them that. Some of them may be elected, some of them are appointed, and they kind of just work through the bill again. And if they read it, and if they don't like it, they don't pass it. But traditionally in Canada, they always pass it. There's only, in rare occasions, do they not pass a bill. Now, who runs this country? A lot of people may think it's me, because I'm just that great, but actually not a lot of people know, a lot of people may assume, and a bit of me needs to actually run through a whole story to tell you who actually runs the country. It's funny, you might have heard of a guy named Stephen Harper, he is the current Prime Minister of the country, and a lot of people believe that he was directly elected to run the nation, but that's not necessarily true. You see, what he is, is simply a member of parliament. He is elected just like any other member of parliament. They go straight to the House of Commons, and they could be of any party. Now, on his side job, he's also the leader of the Conservative Party of Canada. And with that, he was elected, and thus he became Prime Minister. He was the leader of his party, and when his party gained the most seats in the House of Commons, he became Prime Minister. That means he has his own cabinet filled with other ministers, such as Minister of Finance, Minister of Justice, Minister of Transportation, Minister of Environment, and Minister of Health. There's plenty of other ones. I mean, these magical cabinets uh, basically make up uh, plans and budgets and just a bunch of ideas to go into anything in Canada. It could be just the health plan or the what commercial they're going to use to fight drugs this month. But even then, the man doesn't really necessarily run the country. Now, if he decided that it was too much for him, he could probably quit, and then guess what? The Conservative Party would just put someone else there, and any party can do that. It's just a position. It doesn't really matter. They don't technically run the country. Now, who run does run the country, though, you may be asking? It's really archaic, and you would never guess. It's actually hilarious when you think about it. Yes, it's the Queen of England. And, you know, she, sometimes she just has too much things to do. She can't really think about Canada. Let's admit that's actually all the time. So there's actually someone in her place amongst us. That is the Governor General. The only difference between a Governor General and, say, the President of the United States is that the Governor General is appointed by the Prime Minister. So, in a way, the Prime Minister kind of is leader, but then the Queen of England is leader, but then the Governor General is in her place. So, 
really, Canada is just a really messed up system. Now, I have to talk a little bit more about the House of Commons. Basically, to become the government of the country, you have to have the most seats in the House of Commons. Having more seats than your fellow parties, but not more than half the seats that are available, is having a minority government, which is a tough one because you don't want to have a minority government. That means that while you're the government, you are stepping on coal, basically, because any bill you try to suggest can be destroyed, and that means that they can do a vote of unconfidence and kick your butt to the curb, setting off another election. And that happens almost every six weeks up here. No, 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 no. What you want is a majority government, meaning you have more than half the house. So, thus, you could pretty much just throw your money everywhere, and nobody got a problem with it. You, you can basically, you own the place. Now, you know, of course, if you go insane, then they can probably kick you out anyway. We kind of have that luxury up here. I hope I explained it decently. Uh, I know this video is probably really boring. I should have added some pictures, but I it was Listen completely unable to. I don't really know how to use this call. program just yet. I'm still just vlogging. Just beginner small. at vlogging. So, thank you, Collective, for enduring I think the other my horrible videos. Thank you.